Hello, hello, and welcome back as I prove that that which does not kill you makes you weak as a malnourished kitten abandoned by the side of a road in Perfidious Pete Plays RimWorld. And I'm, I'm not going to lie, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. The colony has been struggling lately. From not only a cascade of catastrophes, but also, you know, a lot of Donald Trump jokes, and I don't feel good about those. We had a poison ship, an infestation... Uh, then the complete and total failure of my whole bug roasting plan, plus a ton of Donald Trump jokes thrown in because I was sort of on tilt a little bit. And apart from Krusty Cornelius' bold Mike Pence-like idiotic one-man stand, things have really been circling the drain. It's almost to the point where I'm about to start accusing the whole game of being rigged and then embarking on a 44-hour tirade of racial and ethnic slurs. That's what, uh, that's what the, the man himself would do. Maybe it's a little too soon for that, though. I mean, there's there's always a chance that Cassandra, 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 the storyteller, you know, she could have a stroke and die, or uh, you know, maybe get uh, indicted by a federal grand jury in the next couple weeks. Chances for victory, I'll be them small, do still exist. So, all right, I say we get back to work, and I, I promise that's it. That's the last. That's the last Donald Trump joke I'm gonna throw in here. I'm just, I'm, I'm done taking shots at Trump, I'm, and I'm sure. A decease and assist, a cease and desist letter is probably probably on its way. So, because you know Donald Trump, if you say his name, he's like Hastur, the king in yellow. If you say Donald Trump's name three times, the man will appear, and you know probably touch you or grab your pussy. Who knows? So, man is doing a little nighttime cooking. Man, why are you up so late? Never mind. It's not nighttime cooking. It's actually some really early morning cooking and muffalo slaughter. She gets up. This is a dedicated worker. Men. Pop Idol, sure, but she's up at the crack of dawn, slaughtering muffalo and preparing food for her fellow colonists. This is dedication to her task right there. That's uh, that's a hard worker. We have all of these animals flagged for hunting. You know, I really feel like maybe we should kill this cougar. I also don't really feel like we need a psychic drone at the moment because moods are already a little bit bad. Speaking of which, let's check in on everybody's mood. Never mind. Krusty has never been happier. Krusty, why are you so joy-filled? Also, why are you not ghost? You're not Rick's master. You should be together with your bonded animal. I wholeheartedly tend to agree with this, Krusty. Krusty is also freezing. Why? It's the 10th of fall. I mean, it's 52 outside and he is naked. So hold on a second here. Who is... We, okay, Rick the Mule. We've put up with a lot of shit out of Rick. And it seems like for him to turn coat on Krusty, this is just unacceptable. So how's your training going? We have trained him to obedience. His master is tuned. No, I'm afraid not. Your master is crusty. Needs animals level nine. Have four. Never mind. So you... Okay, well, I guess you're with Toon then. Toon is literally the only man who can handle a, a monster like Rick. Well, sorry, Krusty. I know you have a bond with Rick, but uh, you're not going to be his master. It's just uh, it's not the way things are going to go. Also, maybe we should change your restriction, Krusty, and have you... Man, if we have Krusty put on clothes, though, he's going to be furious. That's right, Pete. Love letting my dangle dongle. Got to get it out exposed to God's own clean air. That's what uh, that's what makes a man like me the happiest, Pete. Well, that's that's true, but uh, we're we're gonna have to. I'm sorry, Krusty. We're gonna have to assign you. Uh, you know anything? Uh, you know what? Wear anything. If you want to remain nude, I leave it to you. Your option. You can remain nude should you choose to do so. How are we doing on food? Also, I really wish we could, like, collapse this menu or something. We have so many resources, we can't actually see what's going on. We got a lot of stuff flagged for hunting, although I feel like maybe this cougar probably needs to die. Let's go ahead and get it hunted, too, just so it doesn't attack some of our other, specifically these boom rats, because I don't want them getting killed and starting a fire. And I do have a bit of a project in mind for the colony. Svegard, you're out there. What are you hunting with? Machine pistol? All right. I mean, that's, that's just acceptable. Gonna get some collateral damage on this muffalo shooting at a turkey. This is the, see, this is why uh, the Second Amendment people are always like, no, I gotta have my assault rifle for turkey hunting. Because, you know, if I go out there and uh, turkey hunting and accidentally fire 8,000 rounds into the woods in nine minutes, might get lucky. Not only hit the turkey I'm trying to kill, but there could be a buffalo behind there that might accidentally get shot. This is why I hunt with an assault rifle. Makes perfect sense to me. Krusty is now fully clothed, and I was talking about a project that I had in mind, and basically what our project is going to be, we're going to expand our curtain wall here. We need a little more room. Things are getting a little crowded around the base, especially now that we've got a more power-hungry setup working. We've got some turrets. 
Got this stuff going. Speaking of which, can we move turrets? We can. Excellent. So we won't have to rebuild those. But before we do any of that, I think the, the smart thing to do is, one, turn up the time because we're, like, running real slow. But also... Well, hold on a minute. Cougar revenge. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Everything's falling. I turn up the speed and suddenly everything falls apart. Is the cougar down? Nope, the cougar is killing Toon. Hey, Toon. Rick, you want to help him out? Svegard, you're over here. Shoot this cougar. Hunt the cougar. You got to help Toon. Toon, you got to run, dog. Just run like hell. Svegard, get him. Oh, Rick, shut the door right in Toon's face. He's your master, you treacherous son of a bitch. Toon is, Toon is getting ripped apart by a cougar. Yeah, see, if only Toon had had an AR-17, he wouldn't have had damn problems now, would it, Pete? He'd have been hunting just fine. All right, well, that means Toon's probably going to go check into the hospital. What are you doing right now? He's cowering. Don't worry, Toon. You can stop cowering. Svegard, the big burly man, has stopped the brute that was attacking you. Stop hitting me, you brute. Then he goes and cowers in a corner. Get back to work. Yeah, go rest. That's an excellent idea. All right, I turn my back for 10 seconds and suddenly the entire world falls apart. So what kind of blocks have we got the most of? Grand, uh, was it sandstone? Yeah, sandstone. We got tons of sandstone blocks. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to expand our curtain wall and we're going to expand it big. We're coming out. We're going, we're coming, we're coming out. We want the world to stay out of sight our walls from my colony. So every one of these takes five. So what do we go? 20. That's basically 100 blocks there. And shit. I, I'm, I'm planning over here, Raiders. Do you mind? Can you cut a man a little bit of slack here? Also, what are they coming in in drop pods? They're coming in in drop pods. All right. Well, if they're coming in in drop pods, they're probably going to be pretty well equipped. Let's take a look and see what they got here. An excellent quality sniper rifle. He's going to try and set fire to my dining chair. That's just rude. You're going to try and burn a sculptor's table, limestone door. You just got a pistol, a pump shoddy, a good quality pump, a triple lock rocket launcher. Okay, well, Lynx is ridiculously deadly then. So we're going to have to be very, very careful with how we set things up here. First things first, get power to the turrets. All of our traps are set. Rick, I'd really prefer, I mean, you're a badass, Rick. Don't get me wrong. But I would prefer you not get shot by a triple rocket launcher. So let's just have you go to the veterinary hospital for now. Alaska's harvesting some smoke leaf, which is fine. Uh, Toon is resting. We are going to need... We're gonna. Are these guys attacking immediately? Are you guys attacking immediately or are you wandering around? No, they're attacking immediately. All right, that's it. Everybody up and at them. Toon, like, let's take a look at your injuries. Oh, come on, man. You call this injuries? You have tiny scratches from a cougar. Oh, my torso and right leg. Oh, he's looking. You know what? Toon is looking to get into that some of that sweet Ted Nugent territory. I want me some of that cat scratch fever. And this is a chance for us to get Alaska a gun. Not that Alaska is a good shot or someone we would really ordinarily trust with a firearm. But in this case, uh, all she's got currently is grenades. And I don't really feel like she's making fantastic use of them. So the turrets are on. We really have to have everybody spread out as far as possible. And the reason for that is because of the rocket launchers. We would really rather not have rockets launched at us, if at all possible. Svegard, I think we'll bring you up here. Min, do you have a gun? You get a pump shot. You know what, Min? We're going to bring you over here, and you're going to be like our emergency backup. If somebody has to run around that corner with a little shotgun surgery, you're going to be that someone. Dune, you coming? Yeah, he's coming real slow. He's, he's milking. He's like, oh, but I got this scratch. I got, I think, Pete, I'm coming down with the case of cat scratch fever. Check it and see. I got a fever of 103. And I may be confusing Ted Nugent and Forger, Foreigner. And you know what? I don't, I don't feel bad about it at all. We really want Lynx to die in the traps. This triple rocket launcher could just straight up kill someone. So if the traps could do the job... Nope, that guy's going to sprint through all of them like they're not even there, and we're going to eat a whole face full of triple rocket launcher. This is very bad. Okay, who are you shooting at? It looks like you're shooting at Svegard. So, Svegard, the best plan for you would then be to run! I, was that a grenade? That may have been a grenade. The Smoky Skunks have decided to steal what they can and leave. I don't... 
I don't think they have anything, though, do they? I want Lynx's triple rocket launcher. We gotta kill her. So if they're gonna flee this way, we need to go through this door. This is dangerous and aggressive, and I'm still gonna do it. Toon, you're not gonna take part in this because you're already hurt. Everybody else, though, everybody else, and not you, Alaska, because I don't want you throwing grenades at our own people. Min, Svegard, Krusty, you guys leap to the fray here. And this guy that's beating down our door, we're gonna we're gonna take him out. Alaska, don't open the door. What the hell? She's repairing the door. Hey, could you uh, maybe not do that? Thank you. She's, she's going to go repair this door. All right, fine. Let's just open the door. Svegard, fire at Graham the Marine. Oh, this guy's a friggin' Marine. We should probably not be picking a fight with him if he's a Marine. Well, here, Alaska, you keep wrenching the door. Meanwhile, the rest of the team... Spread out a little bit and try not to get shot by the turrets. No, don't run right in front of the turrets. Okay, well, there's one down. Now the pirates from the Smoky Skunks are fleeing. Min, can you run out here and cut this guy off? Krusty, can you get out here? Oh, no, Krusty, I don't I don't need a wall. I need Krusty. Guys, come on, Svegard, get out here with that machine pistol of yours. Oh, Min's got a shot. She might be able to cut him off. Pursuit angles, Min. Make like a junior high football game. Oh, Krusty may have slowed it. Holy crap, Krusty blew the shit out of him, though. Come on, men. Oh, she missed it. All right. Well, noble effort, guys. Take two laps and hit the showers. As far as our raid goes, I feel like that that actually went pretty pretty darn well. Nobody even got hurt. I don't even think we even got shot at. We did blow up a little bit of our own defenses, which admittedly is somewhat unfortunate. But, uh, you know, you're going to have some collateral damage when you got Alaska, who is... Not really very handy with a weapon, just throwing grenades around willy-nilly. Were you the guy with the sniper rifle? Because if you were, I want it. Also, strip that man because he's got a nice helmet. And no, that wasn't a joke about his dick. I don't know what his dick looks like, and frankly, I don't want to know. Oh, you don't want to know, Pete? Then why are you stripping? You know, don't ask questions like that. Don't ask questions to which you don't want to know the answer. So there's 200 stone at 20. We're looking at about 150 stone if we make this 30 long, and I'm pretty comfortable with that. This is going to take forever to build, though. Also, cancel that. And then I think, where do we want our entrance to be? I think we want to try and funnel. We'll have them come in here, build a row, and come up. So we build the entrance like so. Then we can just round that off. They'll be funneling in here, and we're going to want to funnel them in through some kind of corridor of death. Where best to set up said deadly corridor? I think we run the corridor of death. We make it... Let's make it 10 long and run it through here. That's going to dump these guys out right here. Now, they will be able to use this corner for cover, which I don't like. But I think in a long run, it's going to be okay. All right, so let's crank up the speed here. Um, we should issue strip orders. Do we want to strip these guys? Are you guys even worth stripping? Well, you 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 have a good quality Devil Strand blouse. That's actually not terrible. You know what? You get stripped. This guy, he has nothing we want. We're not even going to strip that dude. We're just going to let him straight up be buried. What are we researching? Aren't we researching electric cremation? Fantastic. I very much want that. Who's a minor break risk? Alaska. What's uh, what's the problem, Alaska? Why Why, why so glum? Why so serious? You observe the corpse. Well, you could fix the corpse observation if you just took him in there and maybe, I don't know, fucking buried him. A wanderer joins. Relationship. A villager named Wendy has arrived and is joining a colony. She's a construction engineer. Wendy has a relationship with a colonist. She's Alaska's lover. You are? What's up, Wendy? Are you worth a shit? Well, you got a steel club, and hey, she brought her own lunch. That's quality thinking, Wendy. You never know how you're going to react about the, you know, new colony members. Whether they'll be friendly and offer you food, you're coming in with strangers. You came prepared. She brought her own meal. She's in a capable of election, intellectual, and cooking, which honestly, you know what? Not a drawback. Intellectual, we have covered. We've got men and Alaska who handle that. We've got a real yin and a yang kind of thing here. Alaska is a fantastic researcher, and he's incapable of dumb labor, but his wife, Wendy, is incapable of intellectual labors or cooking. We're basically looking at Jack Spratt and his wife here. Alaska is a careful shooter. He's ugly and very neurotic. For a careful shooter, he's real bad at it. So, Wendy, how are you with a shooter? Not good. Your melee skill is atrocious. You're mediocre with animals. You can craft a little bit. 
And you, you know what? You will do dumb labor, though, right? Dumb labor is a thing that you will do. Yeah. All right. Well, that that's fine. We're gonna we're gonna slot you into the niche you belong in then. Your husband, or you are a dude, right, Alaska? Teenage male colonist of Krusty Shaft. Yeah, age seventeen. Ooh, look at Alaska going for the older woman at twenty. That's clever thinking, dog. She's gonna know a thing or two. The experienced gal. That's some solid strategy for a young man. I like the cut of your jib, Alaska. Also, let's get Wendy's skills sorted out. Okay, so Wendy, you're here, and Tuna Geneticist is probably a little more valuable as from a time perspective than you are. So let's jump his cleaning down to three. Wendy, your primary job is going to be, I think, cleaning. You're two for cleaning, and you're two for hauling. Svegard, what is it that you're doing most of the time? I mean, you can smith, you can craft. You're doing plant cutting. Are you our grower? You're a grower, but you're not really a primary grower. You're a really good hunter. Also, you're, you know, you're reasonable at research. But we've got, Krusty is the goddamn research genius. He's a research scientist. We don't really need you researching, do we? I'm just trying to figure out what we can do with Svegard the scientist here. Because if we take him off, you know what? I guess we'll just leave him on two for hauling. And is there anything else we would like this young lady to do? Uh, well, I mean, she's number one for constructing, I think, because her construction skill may be the best in a colony. It's right behind Toons, actually. So, yeah, let's put you to a two, and we're going to dump Krusty down to a four, I think. And we'll leave Min and Svegard. Their, their construction skill is bad enough that we don't want to really trust them with materials. We will let you be ca capable of hunting because we do want to give you a gun. Your social skill is terrible. Let's just... I think Krusty has an 8. Yeah, and we've, Krusty has an 8, and we've got him at a 4. Min the Pop Idol does not have a lot of things she will do. Don't horn in on her niche. She gets... She can be a real diva sometimes. You try and horn in on her action, you better look the shit out. Also, never touch medicine, tools, or anything related to another human being. I'm not sure you've ever even heard of the Hippocratic Oath, and I'm, if you have heard of it, I'm pretty sure you might be misquoting it to where you think it's just... First of all, do harm. Your growing skill is terrible. We're going to put that at a four. You can mine a little bit, so we'll throw that at a three. Plant cutting is always a two for everybody. Everybody helps with the harvest around here. Your art sucks. You know, you, you don't mind crafting, so we'll leave smithing, tailoring, and crafting at a four for a three for you. I don't really think you're ever going to honestly get around to doing them. Who's, who's shooting? I just heard gunfire. Who's, uh, is that you? Oh, Toon's. Dude's sniping a buffalo. Okay. Didn't learn your lesson with the cougar, huh? Gonna, gonna push it? All right. Yes. Electric cremation. Build crematoriums, which can vaporize unwanted corpses. That is fantastically huge for us. And now what we really need more than anything else, we got to get that geothermal power. What do we need for geothermal power? All we need for geothermal power is a high-tech research bench, which, by the way, is not built. Why? Who's our construction man? Who's supposed to be building things around here? Toon, geneticist. What are you doing instead of constructing, Toon? Are you hunting instead of... You're, you're hunting instead of constructing, aren't you? Well, you know what? We've got Wendy the Builder here. Hey, Wendy the Builder, your first duty as a colonist is going to be prioritize working on the high-tech research bench. Once you've got that built, then you can go about to, you know, clean and dirt, I guess. No one is hauling materials for this research bench? Nope. Toon's too busy shooting at Buffalo to be bothered to build the research bench we need to research geothermal power. You're also doing a bad job at the hunting, Toon. Meanwhile, Svegard is hauling the dead out. See, we could be burning these bodies right now, but instead, Svegard is out here just throwing one more corpse in a hole. All in all, it's just uh, another corpse in the hole. Hey, Wendy, there's some clothing there if you're uh, you know, in the mood. Speaking of clothing and whatnot, let's take a look at Wendy's restrictions. We will let you do anything during this period, Wendy. All we really care to do is make sure your bedtime is acceptable and that you take an hour a day for your own personal joy and development. Also, you should say hi to Rick, and you should beware because Rick will eat your food. Animal Area 1. I think we really need to redo Animal Area 1. I'm going to rezone this. Animal Area 1's been bothering me a little bit. So here's what we're going to do. Animal Area 1. We're going to expand this. Where is Rick allowed to be? Uh, animal, No, not Area 1. Animal Area 1. 
So we allow Rick here, huh? Well, basically what we should do is just zone this into places we don't want Rick to be. For instance, the refrigerator. Let's clear all of it. We're going to clear all of the allowed area from Rick. Here, Rick, just this is we're, we're getting rid of everything. We can invert areas, which is probably what I should have done in the first place instead of this. So let's clear off all of this junk. There's a there's a more efficient way to do this. Really, what we're going to do is just zone the places we don't want Rick to be and then just invert the area. Get rid of all of this. All right. Where do we not want Rick to be? Well, we don't want not area one, animal area one. We don't want Rick in the refrigerator. We don't want him in the freezer. We don't want Rick in anybody's bedroom. No bedrooms for you, Rick. Honestly, we don't really want you in the house other than to go to your sleeping mat. So you know what? All of this, I think, is going to be off limits for Rick. I definitely don't want him in where our crops are growing because Rick will devour them. He is a savage, unbelievably hungry monstrosity. The, yeah. It's like living with Dom DeLuise. The guy just he'll fucking eat you out of house and home the second you turn your back. So, Rick, you're not allowed in any of these places. And that's, we probably shouldn't put Rick in with the power. And honestly, we should just move. We really should just move those heaters. They're doing us no good down there. All right, now that we've got this down, how do we invert this area? We should be able to go to manage areas, I believe. That's restriction, manage areas. And if we go to animal area one, we should be able to just click invert. And suddenly, we're good. Because now animal area one should be everywhere we want it to be. Yes, Animal Area 1 is now everywhere except where we don't want Rick. This is perfect. I feel, I, I hate, I've learned something useful. I feel good about myself. And then we do need to make sure Rick is restricted to Animal Area 1, and he is. Fantastic. Men, getting some cooking done. How's our meal situation coming? I have no idea how many meals we have in storage because we have so much friggin' meat, we can't really see our meals. Speaking of which, why are we not cooking fine meals? Is Min not skilled enough yet? She only has a four. All right, well, that, that answers that question. I would love to get some fine meals out of these, all this meat we have stockpiled, but we're not going to do it. <gasps> we finished the sculpture. A sandstone large sculptor. It's good quality. Min Young Min Kim, title, A Hard Oppression. Oh, we got to check out this piece of artwork. This piece shows Edward Toon holding hands, Min Young Min Kim, during a marriage ceremony in a dignified ceremony. Toon is locking eyes with Min. Almost every shape in the image seems to be triangular. There is a rest stop in the distance. Okay, the depiction tells the story of the marriage of Toon and Min on Fall 2nd, 5501. Married at a rest stop. Well, that's the most romantic thing I've ever heard of. How's the sculpture? It's 110 beauty. It's actually a pretty good sculpture. So isn't one of our colonists jealous? Um, actually, isn't Min jealous? Aren't you jealous, Min? You are jealous. So you know what? You made a sculpture of commemorating your marriage to Toon. I'm going to install it in your bedroom, and then we're going to take this one, and we're going to reinstall this up here in Svegard's room. I like just for everybody to have a little bit of joy in their life. Just a little work of art to make a cowboy hat. No, we don't need to. This is my sculptor's table, though. Make a large sculpture. Do we want to do this again? You know what? Yeah, let's do it again. Give me give me one. We, we should always keep artwork. We have so many colonists that like to do art. We should always keep at least one piece of art sort of in the works. Now that our high-tech research bench is finished, also, the other thing, that high-tech research bench is going to chew up a lot of our power. Along with this and the high-tech research bench, our power needs are expanding rapidly, so it's time for geothermal power. This is going to take a while to research, but it's also why we're expanding the curtain wall as well. Wendy's making fantastic progress. Check this out. Girl just shows up and automatically, well, she and Toon are down here just knocking this shit out. This is the power of a solid relationship. They'll be like, we built our relationship on a strong foundation. We're building a strong foundation for this colony. We're in this one for the long haul, Pete. We're, you know, we want to raise a family here, ultimately. Possibly not have a boom rat living inside of our base. It would be, you know, maybe a good thing. The links down there. You failed at construction, Wendy. You're supposed to be a constructing god, and yet you failed. You were supposed to be this colossus, this great legendary engineer, and yet you failed. Disappointed. Chopping down trees that are in our road is also useful. And I think what we're going to do now, since we've got uh, the new curtain wall inbound, we're going to start taking the old one. Oh, no, wait, never mind. We're going to stop doing that. 
Got to stop taking the old one apart until the new one is completed because deconstructing does have a higher priority than constructing and I don't want to be without defenses. So we'll chill on that one for the nonce. Replanted our smoke leaf, which Rick is devouring because of course, oh God. <sighs> Did I mention that I hate you, Rick? Have I mentioned that I hate you? So, yeah, we need to uh, clear some allowed areas from Animal Area 1 because we let Rick back into our crops. It's a bit of a mistake. Let's go ahead and undo that. Rick, you're a straight-up dick. So, please, please don't eat my plants, Rick. That's all I ask. Please don't... Please don't eat my crops. People need these crops for living. You... Oh, we can also turn these turrets off. They're just up here chewing up power. Our people need these crops, Rick. You can go outside and eat bushes and twigs and berries or whatever the hell it is you eat when you're not busy annoying me. Wasn't there a weapon down here that got dropped? Shouldn't we have found ourselves like another shooting iron? We do have a hunter who doesn't have a ranged weapon. Do we have a ranged weapon? We got a pistol. We got a bow. What is this? A mace? So it looks like it's going to be exclusively pistols or bows. Well, that's disappointing. Who doesn't have a ranged weapon? Alaska? I think it's time we get rid of these grenades. You've been doing not a lot of really quality work with that. So let's get the best pistol we can find, which is shoddy. Fantastic. Well, you go. that is almost broken, actually. Well, you have no real skill with the weapon anyway. And we have two shoddy pistols. Tempted to actually stick with the grenades and said, I thought we killed somebody who was toting a sniper rifle, but I guess we didn't kill him. That's a shame. Wendy's going to come out and deconstruct that. Yeah. You know, Wendy, I'm more concerned about the reconstruction of the curtain wall than the deconstruction of the old one. I know it's fun to smash things, but come on. Alaska and Wendy just immediately started sleeping together? Well, they are lovers, but, you know, it's good because it also saved us a bed. There's going to be some competition, I feel, between Min and Toon and Alaska and Wendy to see who can raise the most ruckus in the boudoir. We're going to have a real saving... Sarah Silverman, or what was it now? Forgetting Sarah Marshall? Forgetting Sarah Marshall. That's it. We're going to have a real forgetting Sarah Marshall kind of moment here when they go with the fuck off. Speaking of which, where is Toon? Not Pork and his wife. That's what he's damn sure not doing. You guys are married now. You know, you get a license to bone. Maybe Min has finally caught on. She's like, oh, I shouldn't have married him. I should have waited. I could have had that handsome bastard Alaska. That guy knows how to please a lady. He's not a sadly disappointing lover like Toon. Well, let's have a party. Min's throwing a party. Everybody's going to come up here and probably get shit-faced on smoke leaf. Speaking of which, do we have a bill to make joints? Crafting spot bills. Yes, we should have 30 joints at all time. Yeah, that's right. The party is finished. Well, okay. I mean, that was short. It doesn't even really seem like everybody got that fucked up. We, uh, it's probably because there was no beer. What kind of party can you really have with no beer? We have 37 things of go juice, though. Uh, that needs to be forbidden. I don't want anybody taking go juice. Nope, none, none of that. No go juice. I don't want to have any go juice addicts around here. Go juice is like meth, I think. We wouldn't know unless we took a look at our colonists and checked our teeth. We'd be like, ah, been into the go juice again. Yeah, I can see it. Now they've got some serious decay issues going on there. It's got to be the go juice. Solar flare, that's going to turn off all of our electrical devices. Not really a big deal, except it does preclude us from doing research. And there's a raid. Second raid of the day. They're going to prepare for a while and then attack. Wow, this is a fairly hefty raid. <gasps> oh, God, we forgot to rearm our traps. Okay, that's got to be done immediately. Traps must be rearmed. So, rearm this trap. Rearm this trap. And honestly, you know what? I think I got to take a risk and try and rearm more than one at a time, even though that will mean possibly walking over rearm traps. Krusty, um, prioritize rearming deadfall trap. Toon, rearm. Min, you will never haul because you're a lazy bitch. Rearm deadfall trap, Alaska. You won't haul either. Wendy will, though. Okay, that leaves us with just one trap left to do. We gotta rearm one more. We got a terrible quality armor vest there. So whoever gets the first trap... Hey, we gotta... Wait, there is a weapon here. There's a pump shotgun just lying on the ground. Somebody should definitely be wielding that. One of you with the shoddy pistol, Wendy, the builder, after you finish rearming this trap, you're gonna pick up that pump shotgun. 
Also, I can't help but notice, Wendy, that you're not re... I told you to rearm the trap, and you're not doing it. Here, you know what? Just come get that pump shot. That's more important than building a... There you go. Finish building the curtain wall, that's fine. We can, like, try and get a double ambush in here. All right, so our new expanded curtain wall is completed. Oh, wow, Wendy is a quite the little builder. And now everybody's going to go to bed just in time so we can wake them all up for the raid. Also, turn the turrets on, please. All right, here comes the purple rain. Bye, the purple plane people. They're coming for their lord and master prince. Uh, I don't I don't care if you're asleep. Everybody's awake now. You're all drafted. All right, form up, guys. Squad up. Everybody, over here. Get ready. So I think we go with our standard... Uh, wait a minute. Somebody needs to be undraft. Wendy, flick the switch. Oh, that... It, wait, it's switched on already. How come the turrets don't have power? Designate toggle power. Yeah. I mean, did I just undraft everyone? No. I did. Why is the power not on? Everybody's drafted it. Now, again, guys, squat up here. Why is this not on? No, the, the power is on. How come the turrets don't have power? It says steel improvised turret, power on. Power on. Power switch, power on. Connected, rate restored, power needed. Why, why does it not have power? What's going on here? Did we blow up something? No, I mean, it's definitely connected. Why do our turrets have no power? I miss... Okay. We got to puzzle this out. Why don't the turrets... Why are the turrets not getting power? Turn this off. Min, you will flick a switch, right? You're undrafted. Okay, hold on. Try toys flicking switch on power switch. Yeah, that turned it off. Turn the power on, then. So, Min, prioritize flicking switch on power switch. Power is on. So it's very definitely connected, right? Why? Yes, there's power running under all these. Why are these not? Here, reconnect. Reconnect. And reconnect. No, don't. No, reconnect. Is Oh, it's... Oh, God, it's the solar flare. Okay, one, I'm the world's dumbest man. Two, we're in deep shit. So we got pirates coming in. We have no turrets to help defend us. This is going to be a nightmare. All right, men, you got to get redrafted. So, Pump Shoddy, I want you here. Who has that shitty pistol? Alaska, you're going to be up here with the pistol taking the brunt of things. Wendy, I'm going to post you in the door. You know what? No, here, you be... Uh, we got to be really careful. Toon, you're going to post up way in the back. Alaska, up here with the pistol. Wendy, I want you up here with the pump shotgun. Krusty, I think we'll just post you in the midst of the turrets since the turrets aren't really going to be doing anything. And Svegard, that machine pistol of yours is quite deadly. This guy's coming, trying to come through the door. Yeah, if you come through that door, try to come through that door, you're going to get a face full of shotgun. The rest of them are going around. This guy's got a lot of beating to do if he wants to get through that door. You're going to spend the next 30 years pounding on it. Man, this is a big raid. I'm very nervous here. This big raid and this solar flare is really bad. So here they come through Trap Town. All right, Traps, you guys got to get a lot of these dudes. You got not enough. Well, two is okay. Start shooting, everybody. Oh, God, they're already on us. Okay, no, we're doing fine. We did it. They're running away. The Traps people from the Purple Plain people are fleeing. They've had enough. Oh, these are just tribesmen. Never mind. Wow, we gutted them like fish. Yeah, you better run, punks. Man, these are a lot of bodies to bury, though, huh? All right, well, our work is cut out for us for the next little while. We got uh, a massive pile of corpses. Also, the other problem with stupid tribes people, their junk is always crappy. A cloth parka, I mean, it's poor quality. Winter is coming, though. Sean Bean would demand that we take that. Anybody? Do any of you have anything that's actually worth taking, or should I just throw all of you Devil Strand tribal wear? Mm -hmm. Sorry, it's just not in in Milan this season. Wasn't one of you not dead also? Wendy, are you eating right in front of a prisoner? 
that's very mean. She comes over here to old Basculo the Weaver, and she's like, yeah, yeah you got all shot up, dog. Now I'm going to eat right in front of you. Witnessed an ally's death and shock from exceptional pain. He got shot in the spine, and then Wendy comes over to gloat by eating a meal right in front of his probably crippled ass. That's fucking cold. That's just, that's cold, girl. That's cold. Also, we should see if this guy's worth capturing. He's incapable of nothing. He loves the drugs, but he is a hard worker. So, you know, he works hard. He plays hard. He's actually really good at constructing, mining, and crap. We should recruit this man. Basculo, Bryn, I got a strong feeling you're getting captured. Hey, um, I know you're resting, men, but you want to come capture Basculo the Weaver? No unreachable, unreserved, enclosed prisoner bed. Well, we can fix that pretty easily. First off, medical bed. Medical bed. We did build a hospital for a reason. And then these are for prisoners now. And men, I want you to capture and recruit Basculo. He would make a fine addition to the colony, and all it will cost us is food. And honestly, I think we can spare some food. Are you dead? Rexos the warrior is, in fact, dead. Well, I mean, we can't save them all, so... Can we reinstall these? We cannot. We're going to have to deconstruct those turrets. How much steel have we got? Steel, steel. We have 763. So what we're going to do, then, we're going we're gonna to rebuild these deadfall traps. Colonist needs treatment. Who? Oh, Min? What happened to Min? She may have gotten clubbed or something. Did you get whacked with a club? She's super... Man, she's super stoked about being married. That's why she and Toon are so happy. They're still in the funny... Okay, they're still in their honeymoon phase. Don't worry, that'll pass. She needs treatment because she has a bruise on her neck from a left fist. Talk about a diva. Good lord. All right. Roskelu, let's get you set up here with your prisoner tab. We are going to... Man, you're really difficult to recruit. But you know what? You're really difficult, but you are worth it. I think we work on him for a while. Plus, we have Min the Pop Idol, who doesn't want to talk to D.Va. I call her a D.Va because, one, she is a D.Va, and two, as a Pop Idol, you know, it could be a K-Pop Idol. She might literally be D.Va from Overwatch. Min's going to go report to the infirmary. This is acceptable behavior. Wendy? What happened to Wendy? What happened to you, Wendy? You got... Uh, Okay, you got, you know, got shot in the arm by a bow and arrow. Admittedly, that's a little tough. I would prefer you not be using medicine, though. Chat and recruit, you get food. You do not get medicine. Correct, prisoner? Yeah, no medicine. All right, this is acceptable. We've got things right where we need it. Let's, uh, let's crank up the old time. Actually, what we should probably do instead of cranking up the old time is wrap up the old episode, because I'm looking at the clock. This one's running a little long. If you enjoyed it, feel free to drop a like down in the comment section. Of course, your support really does mean a lot to us. And if you'd like to see... If the pop idol diva can successfully recruit Basculo to the Overwatch crew, I consider subscribing as well. Post new episodes of RimWorld every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Right now, thanks very much for watching. I'll see you again soon.